Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I have some weekly mouths to share with you. Um, I didn't get through as much this week as I normally do. Things have been a little crazy. So, um, I'll just get into it. It's going to be a little shorter video than normal, but, um, alright. Starting with Granny's. This is Orange Clove, and it was the entire scent shot, very little. And this is a cinnamony orange smell, so it should have threw like crazy. Didn't. Hardly anything. Disappointed. This is a donut in Bite Me Berry Donut. And I, as you can see, I really didn't use a whole lot. And I did get a decent throw from this one. So if I want to hear have it last longer, I'll just throw more in next time. I was just testing it because lately I've had no luck with grannies. So I just wanted to see... How it would perform. This is from Bose Bon Frey, and this is Gain Apple Mango Tango. And these were the dentures, which I really didn't want to melt, but I had to because I just needed to. They were so stinking cute. But anyway, um, yeah, I threw in half a denture at a time, and it was strong. It lasted for like two days. It was really strong and amazing. Cannot love on that enough. It was strong and lovely. And then there was also two more from Bose de Bonfre, but like I said, these are from my lots, a lot that I had won from her, and they were mysteries, so I really can't um, tell you the names or anything like that, but they were good. I just don't know what they were, unfortunately. And then um, this is from Tiffany's. This is Strawberry Passion. This thing was amazing. I loved it. It was like... I cannot explain exactly. It was a super sweet strawberry, but there was something else in the background. Almost like, I want to say a really strong jam note because it was super sweet, but it was awesome. It was phenomenal. I love this one. From Closet Full of Wax, this is Pistachio Pudding Cake, and this one was good. I loved her pistachio. I never had a problem with her pistachio throwing at all. It was strong. Loved it. From Front Porch, this is Cotton Candy Bubblegum, and this one, it more or less smelled like bubblegum, a little sweeter bubblegum, probably from the cotton candy, but it was good. And then this is going to be uh, Candles from the Keeping Room. This is Cappuccino. This one I didn't like. It had nothing to do with her. It was just my taste. It almost had like a buttery note, and for some reason, certain buttery notes make me a little nauseous. So, um, I didn't love it, but my husband liked it. I just didn't. It's your taste. My nose is completely different than yours. Um, Serendipity Marshmallow Delight. I absolutely love this one. It was strong and it lasted forever. And it was so creamy and yummy and tropical. I really like that. Caramel Latte. This one was pretty good. Um, it also had that butteriness in it, but that was from the caramel, but it was alright for me. And then, missed one. Pistachio ice cream. Love this one. It was a really creamed out pistachio scent and it was amazing. And then the last one from Candles from the Keeping Room is Stress Relief. And I love the smell of her Stress Relief, but it's a little lighter, unfortunately. I like a really strong Stress, stress Relief scent. I love hers, but it's, just, it's a light throw. And then this is going to be Rose Girls. Very lovely birthday cake. Um, just a nice berry cake smell. Heavier on the berry than the cake, but it's really creamed out. And then I emptied a bag in Orange Danish Coffee. I love this scent, and I'm sad to see it go, but I need to make some room. So it had to be just a real nice orange coffee like smell with a hint of cinnamon. Lions, Tigers, and Bears. Oh my. Um, I want to say that this is Satsuma and Strawberry, but I could be wrong because that's what I smell. And it's really strong. So that's what I'm going to stick with. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. Um, from Victoria's Designer Creations, this is a scoopable. Actually, no, this isn't a scoopable. This was my loaf. Bursting with Blueberry Zucchini Bread. Just a nice Blueberry Zucchini Bread heavier on the zucchini bread than anything, but it's nice. And then a couple little scoopables, cupcake candles, pistachio pudding cake, 
really nice. I always have good luck with her scoopables. And then this is Nikki's Wax. Serendipity Lime Coconut. It's almost empty. I absolutely love this one. Um, you get everything. You get the serendipity. You get the lime, the coconut. It's phenomenal. I love it. And then I did get to melt a little bit of Blackberry Fizz. This one was alright. I think her Blackberry is a little on the perfumey side, which I don't really care for. You did get that um, fizzy, the fizzy note, but um, it's okay. It was alright. And a couple clamshells here. This is from the Bathing Garden Marshmallow Cookie Jar. I know there's going to be a glare. Had to put it in a bag because this is one of those that is just completely soggy, for lack of a better word. Um, this one, I don't know if it was there was just too much oil or what. I really didn't get a whole lot from it, and that's very unusual for me with Bathing Garden. So I'm not sure. Pumpkin Masquerade. This one was a little on the heavy on the cinnamon side. A little creamy, but a lot of pumpkin and cinnamon. It was good. Frosted Fruitcake. Uh, just a nice... There was a fruit, but it was heavy on the cake and I and the cinnamon in that one. And then from Paula Deen, this is Vanilla the Hound Cake. Um, yeah, I think I finally figured out her wax. And, um... Yeah, I'm not going to say anything about that. But, um... 18 watt warmer worked good. That was the only one I ever had luck with, and now I know, but probably won't be, get, be able to get any more of that. This is spiced apple and clove, and this was a nice spicy apple scent, but I think this might have been an older clamshell in the store because it didn't have as much throw as the other ones that I had from that for the spiced apple clove. Sugar sweet gumdrop. Uh, just a real nice sweet sickening sweet smell. Well, not sickening, but it's just a really strong sweet smell. That's all I can say. And then I did get one candle melted, and I'll tell you what. All this money I spent on all these other candles. This was on clearance. It's mold cider from Mainstays. 50 cents for the candle. And I did not have to fuss with it one bit. Melted the whole way down beautifully. No soot at all. So now I ask myself, why do I spend 20 bucks on a candle when this one was 50 cents and performed a heck of a lot better? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that one out myself, folks. So I don't know what is going on, but that was good. And I didn't have any problems with it. So that was my melts for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you got any questions, please comment below, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.